Good morning, everybody. It is so nice to see you today. It is Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. It is April Fool's Day. Hopefully, you don't have any pranks played on you today. Um, today, for your materials, you're going to need um, some paper and a pencil. So if you want to pause the video and go grab those, feel free. So today, we're going to try something new, guys. So please uh, be patient with me as I try to... Uh, figure this all out. So uh, so our first thing we're going to do today is we're going to talk about some reading strategies and we're going to um, talk about some long O sounds. So uh, we're going to go over to Nessie and we're going to um, see those long O sounds. Hey dude, I got something really cool to tell you. You know how OA and OW make the same sound? Well, just how are you supposed to know which one to use? Well, no worries, because I know the answer, dudes and dudettes. Listen to this. Use OA in the middle of a word, like in road. Use OW at the end, like in grow. Yeah! Wait, this word has a tail. But O-W is still used because it comes at the end of the word's body. Yeah! It's easy to remember because W is at the end of the alphabet. So you use O-W at the end. Get it? Yeah! O-A in the middle, O-W at the end. And don't forget to use O-W before a tail. Cool! Awesome! Cowabunga, dude! Now you're as clever as me! Okay, dude, I gotta go catch some waves. Later! Okay, so we were talking about uh, OA and OW, and uh, I found some words that OA is in the middle here. So I found um, it's usually at the beginning or the middle of the word like R O ST. So I have the R. O st be a three tap word, one syllable. K o ch, three taps, one syllable. K o t coat. T o d toad, and those would be one syllable words, but three taps. Now the o w here at the end of these words are, um, they say the o sound, but they're at the end. So we have sn. Remember we put our blends together. Sn o snow. Gl o glow n o n known. Ooh, now this o w is at in the middle. And you remember how they were talking about those tails? So this word is actually um, the root of it is no. Like I know something, and so that that will still follow our rule. And then we have uh, arrow arrow, and this one's a red word because it should say arrow. And because we know our AR says R. So what I want you to do is I want you uh, to go grab a piece of paper. And I want you to think about some of your own OA, O, O, W, O words. And I want you to see if you can come up with um, two or three words for each list and then show a family member. And when you're ready, you can come back and um, unpause the video. Okay, so hopefully you were able to come up with uh, quite a few words for your O long O sounds, and um, those are some of the uh, strategies that we're going to work on uh, when you're reading your books today after our video is uh, those O A and O W that O sound. So today for writing, we're going to uh, talk about conjunctions, and we talked about a lot about conjunctions before we left, where we had to make sure that we didn't start a sentence with a conjunction. We didn't want and or because at the beginning of our sentences. So we have real quick, um, a quick, another Nessie video, and um, this is going to focus on our conjunctions. My, my cat is Oops. big. Sorry, guys, I was previewing it before, and I started right there. A sentence is about one main idea. My cat is big. Uh. 
Sometimes, you may want to add to that idea with more information. You can link two parts of a sentence together with a joining word, a conjunction. My cat is big, and it sleeps all day. <sighs> Different joining words are used, depending on the type of information being connected. My cat is big because it eats too much. My cat is big, so it went for a run. My cat is big, but I love him. So, but, and, because. Be careful. Don't start a sentence with a joining word. And don't use more than one joining word in the same sentence. Okay, so today what we're going to do is we're actually going to write some of our own sentences. Uh, using a conjunction. And so uh, a couple of those conjunctions that we heard in the video, let's add them to our, so we'll make this a little bit bigger. So can you think of a conjunction that they added? So, and, just, because, but those are all conjunctions. And so today what I want you to do is I want you to go grab some paper and you're going to go ahead and write two sentences using a conjunction. Now I want two totally different sentences and uh, make sure that you have a capital and a period. So if you wanna pause the video now, you can, and I'd like you to write. Now, it might be a good idea for you to start like a journal or something that will kind of help you um, as we are going through all of our distance learning so you have those so we are going to write those two sentences so go ahead and pause the video now okay so if you are um all done with your writing or if you're going to do it at the end we're going to now try a move and read and this is the first time we're actually doing this so it's going to be kind of exciting so what we have here is we have um some signs here and they say uh, a word and it says read it while you do this and there's a kid here doing something so this girl right now is stretching out and so what we're going to do is we're going to go through and uh, today I'm going to read you the word I'm going to give you a couple seconds to read it um, and then I'll read it to you and then tomorrow we're going to go through this same list but we're going to um, I'm not going to read it you guys are and we're going to talk a little bit about some of those rules so we're going to look here yeah look at the girl it's kind of a speed game to see if you can get down and do this and then read the word so ready face cape race tape Cage. Are you making sure you're doing the exercise that the kid is doing? Cane. Vase. Bake. Hide. Dice. Ooh, see that CE makes the S sound. Tile, rice, mile, bite, fire, pipe, 
cube. Have you noticed what all the words have? Yep, that's silent E. Mute. Tune. Mule. Dune. Notice how dune, I can make an inference that it is a sandy hill. Tube. Our last one, cute. See that C makes the K sound and the U, E makes the U sound. Okay, great job, guys. Hope you got your uh, lots of stretching in. Okay, so we are going to move on to some math. And we're going to be working today on adding with an open number line. And we were working on this before we left with adding our ones and our tens using an open number line. Use an open number line to find 25 plus 4. You can count on by ones. Why is 25 the first number shown on the number line? So why do you think 25 is the first number shown? Well, it's definitely our largest number. And then remember how we were practicing? Does this end in a zero? If it ended in a zero, then we uh, definitely wouldn't want that to go first. Um, and so we're going to put that 25 first. And then we know that our fours, we don't have any groups of 10. So we're going to go ahead and count that by ones. 25 is the two-digit number that you are adding. What does the first hop from 25 to 26 show? What do you it see? shows that you counted on one more from 25. How do you know that 29 is the sum? 29 is the sum because you made four hops to count on by ones from 25 to 29. You added four to 25. Use an open number line to find 25 plus 30. Okay, so we talked about uh, how when we see that ending uh, number, that one spot, it has a zero at the end, then we know we're gonna try to hop by that. So we're gonna actually try it on here. And so if I have 25 and I want to add a group of 10 to it, we're gonna go down 10 more, touch the floor. So that's what we're gonna do, 25, and think about what would be right below 25. 25, 35, so this is plus 10. I'm gonna keep going. Oh, here we go, too fast. 25 plus 10, 20, we need to go one more, 30. So that's gonna be 55. You can count on by tens. What is the missing number on the number line? Select your answer. So you guys might remember too um, that what we did is that um, when we took that 30, I'm going to show you it real fast. When we had that 25 plus 30, remember we took that number and we decided with our coins what we were going to break it into. If this is going to be a, a, a 1, a nickel, or a, a, a 10. And so I'm going to take that 30 and I'm going to divide it into three groups of 10. And so then remember, I'm going to do my 25 plus 10, but I have, an, I have another one to do. And then I'm going to do 35 plus 10. And then I'm going to do my last one, 45 plus 10 equals 55. Twenty five plus thirty equals fifty five. How do you know that fifty five is the sum? When you made three hops of ten, so it would be ten, twenty, thirty. Fifty five is the sum because you made three hops to count on by tens from twenty five to fifty five. 
you added three tens, or 30, to 25. Now you know how to use an open number line to solve addition problems. I like using open number lines. Okay, so we're going to try some now. And we're going to, uh, let's work together on this. So you're going to need your paper. And I'm going to use my whiteboard. Hopefully you guys can see it. And so we're going to do uh, 24 plus 10. And I have right here our 120s chart if you need it. So um, remember, 10 more, touch the floor. So we're going to find our 24. And then we're going to touch the floor. So we're going to count by 10. So ready? 10. And our answer is 34. Our next one is 45 plus 30. So if you need your 120 chart, you can get it. Otherwise, you can look up at the screen. So we have 45, and we are going to go 30. So we're going to go 10, uh, three. We're going to go 10 three times. So here we go. Ready? 10, 20, 30. What do I get? 75. Okay, let's see what our next one is. 37 plus 40. Okay, 10 more, touch the floor. 40 is a group of groups of 10. So we're gonna be on 37. Ready, we're gonna count 40 more. Here we go. 10, 20, 30, 40. The answer is 77. Okay, last one. 82 plus 20. So we're gonna go on 82. 10 more, touch the floor. So we know we wanna go down. So 82, and we want to go 20 more. So here we go, 10, 20. We have 102. So see today if you can think of some other ones that you can do with your family. So, um, and then our final thing is for the rest of your day, I uh, would like you to do 15 minutes of Lexia or Splash Math. Today is your choice. I'd like you to read a book from your house, a book from your book bag, or a book on Epic um, for 20 minutes today. We want to make sure we do that. Oh, something I forgot to add on here. Make sure you listen to Mrs. Howell's Read Aloud, which today is habit number three. And um, I also would like you to try to draw a character that you would like to write a book about. We're going to come back to that next week. So try to see if you can draw a character. If you want to upload a picture to your Google Classroom or to Homeroom, uh, feel free to do that. And then finally, when you get all your work done, uh, if you could... Uh oh oh I mean, you're still cool, Mrs. Hell. Um, last thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you um, fill out your Google form for Wednesday. And I just want to get some feedback about how today went for you. So um, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you learned some things. And uh, make sure you pause it if you need to. And um, when you're doing your work, take your time. And um, I will uh, see you guys tomorrow. Bye.